Construction continues in Israeli settlements built on stolen Palestinian land in the occupied West Bank. Unfazed by American calls for a total settlement freeze and defying Israeli commitments made 18 months ago in the Annapolis conference. Palestinians say since that conference, Israel doubled settlement construction. And peace now reveals the current Israeli government has plans to construct over 75,000 new housing units. In these settlements, a third of them are already approved. Some Palestinians say settlements are only a symptom of the ongoing Israeli occupation. The Americans should be talking endgame and time frame, not tactics. The Americans are not uh, uh, believers in the right of the Palestinians to return, the question of, which, is, which is the core of the conflict. I mean, after all, our conflict is, has two pillars, land and people. In these two things, I do not really see that deep qualitative difference between the Americans and the Israelis. America's special envoy for Middle East peace, George Mitchell, says President Obama wants talks between Palestinians and Israelis to start immediately, seemingly ignoring adamant statements made by Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas that negotiations could not resume until Israel stops its land grab policy in the West Bank and endorses the two-state solution. It's a request that could turn initial Palestinian optimism into worry. It is a temporary kind of happiness or optimism, but in the end, I think the Palestinians will realize that things are much more difficult than just feeling good. Uh, the Israelis are very stubborn. They will bargain viciously, uh, and they will, in the end, reach some kind of agreement, some, some kind of understanding. Already there are signs Israel intends to play hardball. Interior Minister Eli Yishai pledged millions of government dollars to develop the illegal settlements in the West Bank. And as the political bargaining continues, Israel remains in ultimate control of Palestinian land, dictating a reality political statements alone can do little to change. Nor Al Jazeera, the occupied West Bank.